one, three, a J, two, three, A. <laughs> Hi, I'm Cosmo Lieberman, I'm 17 years old, and I play the alto saxophone. I'm from Los Angeles, California, and I'm really grateful to be here with MYO. You're going to be hearing us rehearse Duke Ellington's Cotton Tail, uh, led by our ensemble coach, Reggie Thomas. The thing I really love about this arrangement is that there's like a lot of a uh, variety in the way we can interpret it, especially as a lead player. It makes it really fun, and it feels like there's like really no uh, constraints. And so hopefully it sounds good, and hopefully you enjoy, and thank you so much for watching. So think about it this way. Swing is very much symmetrical. And bebop is very much asymmetrical. Phrase lengths, groupings of eighth notes like you all have been talking about. Uh, this, what you've been describing as, as syncopation is more this hemiola that's in there. Bop she e, op she e, su op op she oo, bop she e, op op she e, op she op, bop she he be do hop, oo bop she he be di be do op, c li do dot, d you do dot, z li is much more symmetrical, even phrasing. It can still swing like crazy. It can still have syncopations in it, but it's symmetrical in its structure, right? Whereas bebop isn't. Where is cottontail living? The original swing, but I think this is more bop. You think this is more bop? We'll play it again, and, and I want you to want you to see what you think. Just sing from the beginning. Sing from the beginning. One. Sing from the beginning. One, three. You don't need to pull it up. You know it. You know it. Come on, trust yourselves. I trust you have at least half the faith in yourself that I have in you, and you'll be fine. I totally trust you. One, two, sing. One, two, three, four. Bop. Now, my question, is this symmetrical or asymmetrical? Asymmetrical. You think asymmetrical? Symmetrical, every two bars is a call and response. This is very symmetrical music yeah. that we're trying to play as though it's asymmetrical. Know what I'm saying? It's very symmetrical. What does that make a difference a lot? It makes a difference in the rhythm section. Because when we're thinking of bopping, we're Versus saying, hey, it's right here. Right? Don't be afraid to chop wood when you need to chop wood. You know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid to, 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 to change up your comping where it's not trying to reflect this. I also think of bebop music is this way, and this may help you also because it has to do with the forward momentum that we get by, by um, anticipating the upcoming phrase. Bebop music is usually in a state of becoming rather than existing in a state of being. Know what I'm saying? 
It's not, when you think about it harmonically, it's not about I'm playing on this harmony. It's I'm at this harmony leading to this one. It's constantly becoming. Where swing, we actually get to exist in it for a minute. Bo be do da, bo be do de, bo be do da. Know what I'm saying? So now, if we treat this as though it's swaying and not bebop, let's see what difference that makes. This is top, beginning to end, nonstop. Grace has got two courses, Emma's got two courses, and then we're going on. And even the parts that we think are bebop-ish, because all of a sudden there's a, there's a uh, harmonic substitution with the changes, is still done in a very um, symmetrical way. It's still very symmetrical. From the top, Hawaii 5 0. And we're going to be done with this. I was going to get to 29ers, but we'll get to that later. Very top. All the way through, non stop. One, three, I want two, three. Eh. time to talk. Remember, settle it immediately when we go there. Don't ease your way into the groove. It's immediate. Immediately. Top. One. Uh. One, three. Uh, one, two, three.
fat. Last note, last note, last note. We can't do all of that. Kill him playing and then whop. Step ba do dip ba do da ba do dit dog. Last two bars. One, three. I want two, three. Are you all understanding where I'm talking the difference between swing and bop? And that's we've not been letting this one live there. Right? And you want to know what I think is hip? You talk to different musicians about, you know, we, what is hipness? Some think, folks think that hipness is playing alter changes. Some folks think that hipness is, you know, this kind of bluesy thing. Some folks think that hipness is I can play odd meters. Here's what I actually think that is hip. It's whatever kind of music that I'm playing, it sounds like that music. So if we play this and it sounds like swing, and we play things to come, and it sounds like bop, that's what I'm after. <laughs>